Hey Nathan here, welcome back to another artificial intelligence video. And in this video I'm going to do things a little bit differently since we're starting with the more advanced topics. For this video I'm going to discuss, you know, the logic and the ideas behind this current topic of artificial intelligence. So the next few tutorials we are going to be discussing grouping artificial intelligence and what does the grouping artificial intelligence do. So for this video we're not going to go into any code. I'm going to do a video overlay and try to make that all nice and neat for you guys and just discuss the general concept behind grouping artificial intelligence. Okay, for every game element you want to ha have participate in this grouping artificial intelligence, they have a circular zone. They have a detection distance from the object. And the detection distance is just a single value, so it's a circular zone around the object. Any element within another element's circular zone, the detection distance, will set it as its parent to focus. So we have one game element that is set to the parent, another game element that is following that object. Now you can do all sorts of tricks behind the scenes to determine which one to give the parent and which one to give the follower rights to. And then we can go into all that information later. But every game element has a circular detection distance. And any other game element that participates in this, they will be connected in such a way that they will be following the three guidelines for grouping or flocking artificial intelligence. Okay. First up, separation artificial intelligence. When two objects within another within each other's detection distance, when they get too close, there is a short and small repulsion to push the objects further away from each other so they do not get too crowded. There is a short repulsion that says oh, we need to separate us, we need to give more of a gap between object A and object B, so we are going to have a larger gap. We need to move away from each other, and then we will be set. The second thing, alignment artificial intelligence. Every game element within other game elements detection radius whenever they are connected they need to be pointing the same way so we have some rotation going on where they need to be pointed the same way the last thing is cohesion long range attraction elements within another elements detection radius whenever they're too far they need to come closer together so we have separation which makes sure they're not crowded and we have cohesion to make sure they're close enough they are not 500 feet away they're within our you know personal space all three of these combined give us flocking artificial intelligence So that is the basic concept with grouping artificial intelligence. Every entity has a distance. Within that distance is called the detection radius. Any other game entity within that detection radius, we will associate one game element with the parent role and the other game element with a following role. The parent one will control, you know, the position where it's going. The following role will just, it's basically follow the leader. But you need to make sure that you're not too close, not too far, and you need to be pointed the same way. 
if for some reason, for some reason you pick up speed, the leader picks up speed, and you do not keep up, if you break through that detection radius, you are now a free entity and you need to find another, you know, flock to participate with. So all these game elements are free entities just looking for somebody to pair with. Whenever they do, it chooses one as its parent and one as a follower. And then that parent is going to have the parent role. Any other game element approaching that two element flock will be a follower because we already have a parent for that flock. We do not want to have multiple parents for a flock. Alright, so this is a very short video. I just wanted to discuss some logic behind it. Uh, we'll go into the coding later on. So, I will do the coding in the same order I mentioned. Of course, we'll have to do some back-end stuff. So, next tutorial, we'll be doing some back-end tutorials on how to set up a flock, how to set up a game entity with a detection radius, and all that. The tutorial after that will be separation to make sure one game element is not too close to another game element. The next tutorial will cover alignment to make sure we are all pointing in the same direction. Then the next one will be cohesion, make sure we pull long range entities that are still within our detection radius but to make sure they are closer, but not too close, because then we'll go into separation. And then the last tutorial, we'll combine all these three things for flocking artificial intelligence. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work getting the video overlay done. The actual videos seems to be about eight minutes long. So all this will be done in After Effects. I'll be doing graphics work. It'll probably take several hours for me to do this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll get into the coding later. And then I can always come back to the video if you need to see it again when I discuss it. Alright, so stay tuned for the next video where we'll discuss the back end, the engine side of things getting a game entity class set up and how to set up a detection radius and how to set up the basic for the flocking, you know, how to set up a parent and a follower and all that stuff. So thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.